Can I ask you a question? Have you ever tried to IV inject growth hormone? Dude, I've, in, I've IV'd everything. No. I've been close to, IV, <laughs> I've been close to IVing uh, trend suspension, uh, test suspension. I've been this close to doing it, but I was like, I'll probably fucking die. Uh, <laughs> but I'll tell you what. If somebody sent me micronized test suspension from an American pharmacy, like like that you could use on an insulin needle because – the UGL stuff will clog a fucking – I'd be having to shoot my vein with an 18 gauge to get that shit through because it clogs. <laughs> if I got micronized test suspension from a pharmacy in the, in America, I would IV it 100% right before I walked into the gym. In my car, right before I stepped in, I'd IV that shit. And I'd probably get like that urophic high. You know, like the urophic yeah, yeah. That was the same feeling I got with the Nubane. Dude, imagine that, mixing Nubane and test suspension. Like <laughs> you, you use the Nubane – to push the fucking test suspension through so you get all of the – that's what I would do. My OCD would be so bad. I'm like, how can I push everything through? I would just load it up with Nubane and get the rest of it in. But how did you figure out how to do the IV? Look, the reason why I'm asking, just to be clear, is I've been trying to do a phlebotomy, like get rid of some blood because this damn Red Cross, they, you have to book and wait yeah. for like a month. Oh, it's dude, really annoying. Seen people do their own blood like that in the sink. There's YouTube videos on it. Yeah, I'm going to figure it out because I was like, this is too much. They, I, I went and gave blood and I was like, this woman does not really doing anything. She's just, it looks yeah. simple. You can do it yourself as long as you know how much you're, you don't want to take too much yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. But how did you, you went on and watched some YouTube videos or what? Did, how did you figure out how to take, hit the vein proper? Because you're not a drug addict. You don't use drugs. I got, a, I got a big ass vein on my, on my bicep right here. But you got to go sideways, right? You don't know where the bicep meets the forearm right here. Yeah. I actually have track marks. That's so much of a fucking IV guy. I'm, but uh, <laughs> you're going to laugh at this. And a lot of my, and a lot of the viewers are going to be like, what the fuck? But you know, I've IV'd everything. I've IV growth hormone, uh, IGF deaths, like right before I trained IGF LR3. I've, I, I, I've done insulin. I've, I've eat a whole syringe of everything mixed together. Insulin, growth hormone, EPO, all in the same syringe. Just you shot it all in. insulin. Wow. Everything. Oh, if you cool. IV insulin, it's a urophic feeling. You get high, like you feel high. Are you yeah. serious? Crazy. Yeah. Uh, not as much on the humalog, but on the humulin R, if you IV it, you get like a urophic feeling. Dude, I've IV'd everything, but you're gonna even laugh at this. I don't I don't uh, throw away insulin syringes. My OCD is too mad too bad. The only way I will throw it is if two it clogs, meaning like one day, like it'll, it, it'll like whatever it is, it, it like it won't push out through the needle because yeah. it gets like stuck in the needle, right? Yeah. Or if it if it completely bends and breaks, then I'll toss yeah, them. It happens as yeah. long as the insulin needle is still intact. I'll keep shooting that dull needle until it breaks, <laughs> and, and I will keep using that needle to IV myself. That's not, but you shouldn't IV with it. You should. I know it's muscle. crazy, right? It's stupid. It's stupid. I know. Well, that's how you're going to get the track marks because it's caused a little bit of damage on the vein. Yeah, because it's fucking like a rusty-ass needle. Okay, I thought I was I was tough with the injections, but you just completely impressed the hell out of me. I'm, 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 now I'm thinking I have to do the phlebotomy myself. This is ridiculous. You're shooting growth hormone. In, but yeah. did you ever notice a difference from the growth hormone in IV? What are you going to say? No, I know. I, I didn't, but the worst thing I ever IV'd was that AMP stuff that uh, – yeah, and I did this on talked about it on Dave's podcast the adenosine monophosphate. Yeah, that stuff that, uh, it, 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 it like it capillates, it, it brings a uh, muscle. It, it it you get vascular as hell on it right away, and it brings a ton of oxygen in the muscle. But it's for they they give it to like horses before they race, dude. They sell it on the horse site. They Are you sell talking it about adenosine monophosphate? Yes. Yes. Wow, interesting. They sell it, dude. You get crazy pumps on that. So a lot of people will shoot it intermuscular in the muscle of training, and it'll bring play, and it's and it, that gives you a urophic high, like you feel high on that. They give it to horses before they race because of lactic acid buildup. It helps with that. Do you ever, have you ever, have you ever heard of the SARM or whatever it's called? But it's a ACAR, A I C A R. I've heard of it. So ACAR actually mimics AMP in the body. So when really? it goes in, your body recognizes it as AMP. But by the way, you don't want to actually inject AMP because it might give you a pump, but AMP, when it so your body has a nutrient sensing pathway. When it notices there's more AMP to ATP, it turns on this pathway called AMP kinase. And that is uh, the opposite of a growth pathway. It turns off mTOR. It turns off IGF-1. That's really crazy. Well, I didn't know well, they give that to I, horses. I, 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 I only use it like on leg day. 
and dude, I just like the high and the aerobic feeling on it because it it kind of gave me like a a, a fifteen minute high like the new Bane did. You know what I mean? That's but but I'll tell you what, I got this new brand in. I got this new brand of amped in. Never used it before. Two hundred fifty migs per ml, just like the other brand, right? Because I got the other brand from like a, a Turkish pharmacy. This one I got from a Canadian pharmacy, right? Dude, I looked at myself in the mirror. I t- talk, talked about this on Dave's podcast. Ariella and the, and the kid were in, in Jackson were in bed. Um, it was like 2 a.m. in the morning. I'm about to go train. I IV this shit, right? I, my head, and I, because <gasps> you have to, dude, it takes all the oxygen out of you. Like, you can't breathe. This is so confusing. I didn't know. I, I was like, dude, I thought I was going to die. I was like, <gasps> like, like it takes everything out of you. And then I looked at myself in the mirror. I said, you fucking motherfucking idiot. I was so mad at myself. Dude. <laughs> I was so you know mad. You know what would be fun is the test suspension IV. I haven't I taken it since, dude. I haven't taken that shit since. I have a full bottle of it. And I'm like, yeah. that after that experience, fuck that. I need to look into that A car though. Yeah, I don't think it won't make you good gain muscle. But oh, it- another thing that me and you need to look into, I'm going to experiment with it. FTTP. What is that? I'm going to check it out. Um, yeah, look that up. It's a peptide. It, the dosages on that are crazy, but um, um, you've probably heard of it in another name. That's the short name for it. But um, it's supposed to actually dissolve fat cells. Oh, interesting. I'd li- I, I'm, I wrote a note down. Hey, yeah. tell us about the follistatin. What happened? With I haven't it? used it yet, dude. I haven't been. I haven't hit it because I haven't. I, won't wa- I don't want to waste that, dude. That was expensive. I want to be when I'm like the gyms were closed. I was training at local. I need to be like going to a good gym at least three times a week for me to be doing that because that's a lot of money. I don't want to like I don't spend any money on drugs anymore, but I did spend money on that. So I don't want to waste that. Yeah, for those that don't know, folostatin should inhibit myostatin. So it should cause... People- and then I'm going to mix that with the growth factor, the MGF. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, I've read about MGF. Also. The, the FTTP, you should hear the results that are people are getting on that stuff, man. Like really? they're literally, they're literally, their pant size is shrinking and it's not coming back, dude. It's like, it's like almost like injectable liposuction. Oh, this is fascinating. I'm really going to read about this. I'll, I'll text you about it later. Yeah. See what I find and, out. And if you need a source for it, uh, my peptide supplier has it. When I found out he had it, I was like, I'm just going to ask. He probably doesn't have it. They're like, yeah, we have it. And I'm like, oh, my God, I got to fucking get that shit. Also, you know what really pissed me off? They banned EPO, dude, in China. Oh, really? Dude, I can't. Like, I've been. Thank God I have a pharmacy connect in Turkey so I can get it. But um, they, they banned EPO. I have a good amount stocked up. But, dude, I was like, I was pissed. I was like, if you guys knew that you guys were going to stop producing in 2019, like, you should have told me. I would have bought, like, your whole thing. <laughs> but this sucks for two reasons. I was about to ask to get a, a farm, not a pharmacy, but a factory in China to produce an EPO derivative. I've been studying EPO derivatives. There are some that don't cause – so th- listen to this. I just wrote an article about this. So EPO – Right, it thickens your blood with the red blood cells, right? But that's not the main benefit. The other thing that it does is it repairs wound healing really quickly in the body, and it activates STAT three, which is this grow, sort of growth pathway that's similar to G, what GH does. So it I'm has using, growth I'm pathway. Using it for, I'm using it for two things: one for my kidneys, two for my for my endurance in the gym. And I've already, I've already, I started it like two weeks ago from a pharmacy and I've already um, I won't say his name because I, he won't want me to but a nice guy reached out to me and he said he reached out to Dave and Dave said he goes you're crazy I don't want that shit he had expired EPO from the pharmacy that he didn't use and he won't use and he sent me pictures of it and it was expired dude the guy was nice he cold shit me uh, for 40,000 I use of it and I'm using it that's a lot dude like pharmaceutical grade EPO is not cheap. Like that was really nice of him. It was expired. And I was like, he was like, will you pin it? I'm like, are you fucking kidding? I was like, shit, I'll extend that shit. <laughs> the point is it may cause growth, but the reason why people don't notice the growth as much is because of the blood getting too thick. You can't take that much. But I wanted to get a pharmacy or a factory in China to make one. There are uh, like peptides of EPO that don't cause the blood thickening, but do cause the protective and, and regenerative effects. Yeah. So I was interested in that, but 
since it's public, it costs like thirty thousand dollars to get them to to make something. I was asking yeah. Tony Gucci; he was telling me like it costs a bit of money. Well, but see, I'm, I'm borderline anemic, so when I do take it, it helps me a lot. And then my my kidney functions are always like perfect on it. I wonder how what it's. Uh, I well, know, you know it's, that's what they get. You know that's what they prescribe it for is people with kidney like kidney failure, right? Yeah, people with kidney failure do take it because the kidney failure causes them to become anemic. Yes, correct. Have you checked your ki- kidneys lately? Oh, uh, let, not, not not since that uh, not since February. But it was your it was like ninety your EGFR. Or it something wasn't like good. That. It wasn't good at all. But it was because I was done that all and that. But see, this is the thing, you dude. Can't trust that though. If you interviewed any other bodybuilder, they'd sit here and tell you that they're the healthiest motherfucker in the world. I swear to God, any bodybuilder on cycle, their blood work looks like shit. Like if they're on a good cycle, their blood work looks like shit. And then they'll come off for fucking three months and they'll take get their blood work and they'll be like, look how healthy I am for the one for the one week I'm off. Look how healthy I am.